Hey everybody, Don here again. Well, I made it up to Lake Champlain and I'm at a campsite. This is where I'm going to be setting up the tent. You can see the lake right back there behind me. Um, I'm going to set up the tent, I'm going to get my camp all put together, and then we'll see what time it is. Maybe I'll uh, get out and do a little evening fishing tonight. All right, well, got the camp all set up. See the tent with a makeshift rain fly. Kayak's ready to go, all my gear's ready to go. We're heading out first thing in the morning. It's about quarter to six. No sense in trying to get out and fish tonight. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to feast a little bit before, uh, before I call it a night. And let me show you what I'm having. Well, we're going to start off with some moose steaks. That's uh, you know, the moose that I inherited. We're going to have some uh, fried peppers and onions, mushrooms, and maybe I'll make some uh, mashed potatoes. Obviously, we're going to top it off with a little jack. Keeping the bugs away. When I was driving across the causeway, if you remember that pike video from June, um, the water was low. Now, I don't think I could even get the kayak through through there. So, um, you know, it's about two miles up the road to the Lamoille River, and that's where I'm going to put in. And then it's a little bit longer of a pedal than I thought. I was thinking it was a mile, mile and a half, but it's probably close to two miles of pedal to get from the boat launch to the lake and that's all right because we caught fish all along the river so you know the plan is get up early um, you know, kind of crack a dawn kind of thing and uh, and see what the weather's like I'm going out rain or shine uh, but there's a 50% chance it's gonna rain which means the 50% chance it's not gonna rain right I don't care just like our vacation up in Acadia. Rained on us just about every day. We didn't care. We'll always make the best of it. Some fine looking moose steaks, huh? Spice it up with a little Tony Satchery's. Good. Ooh, hot. I'm gonna let that sit for a minute. I 
thing about game meat, any kind of game meat, whether it's venison or uh, moose, deer, you don't want to overcook it. Pretty darn good looking meal right there. Moose steaks, onions, peppers, and mushrooms, mashed potatoes. Time to eat. Beautiful sunset. Cheers. We'll see you in the morning. Well, hey everybody, Don here again. I'm on the Lamoille River, just ready to put in the kayak and start pedaling out to Lake Champlain. Rained pretty hard through the night, but uh, looks like we got a break. So I'm gonna have full rain gear on, but uh, hopefully we won't need it. We'll see you out there. All right. <laughs> and wouldn't you know it, as soon as I get on the water, it starts to rain. Oh well, it ain't gonna bother me. Full rain gear today. Fifty percent chance of rain today, so I guess I'm in that fifty percent. Hopefully, it doesn't uh, come down too hard. All right. Whew, haven't been in the kayak in. I don't know, a month, I guess, probably close to a month. Today is the 1st of October, and uh, I'm up here headed out towards Lake Champlain. Hopefully I'm going to catch some big northern pike. Brought the big net, not that I'm that confident, it's that I'm that hopeful. But. There are a lot of nice bass in this river. So, I'm gonna start off with the chatterbait that was rocking it. First guys. Boy, I can see that the water is so low. When, uh, when Bobby and I were here, it was low. But after the drought that we've endured all summer over in New Hampshire, and I'm sure it wasn't much different over here in Vermont, I can, I can tell you it's, uh, it's a lot lower. The causeway, I couldn't have put in where we put in just because I don't think even with the kayak I could have got underneath the causeway. It looked like it was just mud. I'm going to work my way along the edge. Like I said, I think it's somewhere between a mile and a half, uh, maybe two miles to the lake. I'm surprised. Now here comes a duck. Uh, you know, it's a waterfowl of some sort. Yeah, it looks like a cormorant, actually. There's a lot of duck blinds out on the uh, on the lake. And I'm surprised. Here it is. It's a beautiful ducky morning. I haven't heard a single shot, so that's that bodes well for me not interrupting a bunch of duck hunters by fishing out in the bay. All right, well, I've made it down to the island. 
I'm going to stay to the uh, north side of that island. Seems like we yeah. had little more luck over there. Rain's picking up. It's kind of a drag. Thought I'd throw the gambit swim bait and see if anything was looking for an easier meal. It's got that dying action. Good chance it's going to rain all day. The Big Rig, Big Tooth Tackle Company, Big Giant. Spinner bait. That's what I'm going to throw. Now, this is meant for musky, but Big Northern's basically the same animal, just a little different subspecies. Ooh, -wee. <laughs> that's going to uh, that's going to wear me out probably. Heavy to cast, I tell you that. Hard to retrieve, too. I think, uh, I think that will wear me out pretty quickly. Talk about a giant bait. I like it. I'm going to save it for the lake. It's a big boy, that's for sure. All right, I keep saying I'm heading to the lake. Let's get to the lake. I think I'm gonna go aground, sure enough. So I had to pull the drive up. I'm literally now maybe six inches of water out in the lake. And where I saw over by the causeway, it was a mud flat. That's what I've, that's basically what I've got here. I mean, this is a sand bottom. I can see a billion little mussels, but I don't think, I can't use the drive, obviously. The wind is actually blowing me from the south east, I guess. Yep, I'm dragging now. If 
I keep going that way, I'm just going to get stranded and I'm going to end up walking. So see if I can fight the wind and move back into the river. At least there's some depth in the river. <laughs> now I'll be fighting the wind. Yeah, I'm dragging bottom. this low. I probably wouldn't have planned this trip had I realized the lake was affected as much as the areas back home. Let me get back into the shelter of the river a little bit. Ten oh four. Been out here for three hours. Not so much as a bite. It's rained the whole time. Sometimes lightly like this, sometimes considerably harder. I've uh, got a good amount of water in <laughs> Like I was saying before, that camera just died. This camera has died and I'm having technical difficulties. I've been out here three hours rained the whole time the lake is a bust the lake is uh there's no sense even trying to fish it i can't get out into the lake because it's so shallow the river i fished the river for basically three hours and did not get a bite and it's supposed to rain all day today i might bag it I'm definitely going to bag this morning. I got, like I said, I got about a mile and a half or so, maybe a little bit more, up against the current and the wind to uh, get back to the boat launch. I'm going to load things up. The boat's got a pretty good amount of water in it. And uh, I'm going to head back to the campsite and uh, decide what I want to do. Back to camp. And I gotta say, the rain is just letting up a little bit, but everything looks like uh, it's getting wet. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some breakfast. It's, uh, it's about 11 o'clock, just got off the water. I'm gonna uh, pack up all the dry stuff, and then I think I'm just gonna roll this tent up and garbage bag it until uh, I get home. And then I'll, uh, I'll set it up out in the garage and let it dry out. But this adventure was a little bit of a bust, which is too bad. Uh, I was really looking forward to uh, catching some pike but, um, or some bass or anything. But I think this is the end of fishing for me for the year. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. Get away. But uh, not, uh, not a great outcome. Thanks for coming along. We'll see you next time. Peace.